How you doing everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on the a and Drum Company Royal 4P Shell Pack. AF Drum Company hails from Austin, Texas. Rami Anton and his family started the company not that long ago. Rami was a, and still is a drummer, but he was a session drummer back in Los Angeles and decided to build a drum to his own specification, something that he wanted, a sound that he was looking for. And he found someone to help him do that. And uh, he got really nitpicky, got into the exact design, the vintage drums that he loved playing, the, the sound that he wanted to hear. It took them a while to get there, but they finally made it and it was better than what he thought, what he thought would turn out. Then he started taking it around to the sessions and to the studios and playing it for the producers and other players. They loved the sound of his drum, and then they asked to buy a drum. Can they make, could he make a drum for them? So he made a couple more drums. Next thing you know, his wife, his name's Tiffany, same name as my wife, Tiffany, said, you know, how many drums did you actually make for your buddies, your friends? And he goes, I don't know, 45 or 50? And she goes, man, you need to start a company. And that's exactly what he's done. Let's get into the details of this kit, the Royal Drum Kit, right now. Everything a and does down at their factory in Austin, Texas is completely handmade. This Royal Kit starts with a solid sheet of brass. Then they bend the brass into a round shell, weld the seam, sand it all to make it all pretty, put in perfect 45 degree bearing edges. Then they have this patented technique that makes the patina look exactly like it does here. It looks old, it looks vintage, and that's completely on purpose. The kit that I have in front of me has a big 24-inch kick drum, a 12-inch rack tom, a 14-inch floor tom, and a 16-inch floor tom. Now with shell packs, you've heard me say this before, it does not come with a snare drum, but I have two killer a and snare drums with me here. They are both solid steel drums. This is a 6.5 by 14 in front of me here, the main snare, and then I have a 3 by 13-inch little pancake piccolo snare on my left. You can couple this drum kit with any snare you want, but these go perfectly. Before I get into the hardware and some of the accoutrements that come with this kit, let me play them a little more without any music in the background so you can hear the tone of these drums on their own. Snare wires are off to start. Here we go with the toms. Brass shells definitely bring out volume, but the tone is really clear and you get a great interval from high to low. And they're big and round as well. Let me put the snare wires on so you can hear a little buzz and do the same thing. Super musical sounding and just there's a great clarity to the sound of the drums. Before I get to the sound of the kick drum, let me tell you about the heads that come with these drums. They come with single ply Remo Ambassadors coated on the toms and the kick drum has a clear Power Stroke 3. Now to the sound of the kick drum, it's wide open. You can tell there's no hole in the front head. There's no dampening in it at all. So you can change up the sound of the kick drum 
easily by putting a hole, a little bit of dampening, whatever you want to do. But for now, it's big and round, and it sounds like this. <laughs> it's big, it's huge, and it's just so much fun to hear. Snare wire's on. Love it. Let's put the whole kit together right now. Love the sound of this drum kit. It sounds big right now, so you can definitely play rock and roll with this kit. Old style, classic Zeppelin kind of rock and roll. This kit sounds huge right now, and it would fit in that style perfectly. But you can also take this kit anywhere you want. You want to play jazz with this kit, just crank up the tuning of the toms and the kick drum, and give it a little bit of a different tone, and you're good to go there. When drums were built way back in the 1920s, prior to that, the 30s and 40s, you know, the drums didn't have a lot of stuff on them. It was in the 80s and 90s and beyond when drums started getting really fancy with the hardware and the tom mounting systems and all of that. This is old school look, feel, and vibe. Let's start out with the lugs. Two-way lugs, a single lug right in the center of the drum, and all the drums have the exact same lugs, right in the center of the drum with a tube on either side going into the tension rods. The hoops are old school kind of single flanged hoops. They're a little bit like die cast, but they're not. It just has the one flange that goes straight up, okay? But it feels good under the hands. When you play rim shots with this hoop, it doesn't hurt your wrist or anything like that. It feels good and it's nice and solid when you dig in. The claw hooks that come on this kick drum are old school claw hooks. It just reminds me of the old vintage kits I had when I was a kid. They look great on this kit. You'll also notice that the drums come with wood hoops. So it's a nice juxtaposition between the brass shell and uh, all the hardware. The wood hoops give a nice visual feature. Now one thing, if you ever see me do my videos, I go crazy about kick drum spurs. If kick drum spurs aren't good and don't hold the kick drum in place, like what good are they? Now this drum, I didn't, I was, I have to say I was a little bit uh, weary of the kick drum spurs, but they work great. They're on the bottom of the drum, old school style. They come out and you can't see them right now from the camera shots, but uh, the kick drum doesn't move at all. It's as solid as can be. And it's really simple, a couple of wing nuts, they're sticking down into the ground, your kick drum stays in place, and it's great. Let's quickly talk about the badge that comes on the front head, also the badges that are on the shells. Great looking vintage style badge that goes with the vintage look of the drum, but you'll also notice that on, underneath the badge, also underneath all of the lugs on all the drums are leather washers. What a cool feature that is. And the badge, that big badge with the leather washer underneath it, is a little bit of a dampener as well, okay? So it does have a feature, even though it's big. It looks great, but it also has a sound feature as well. Last thing I wanna mention about the hardware is that it's all patinaed to look vintage and to fit with the kit, even the tension rods. They look rusty, they look old, but they're not old, they're brand new tension rods. They're just made to look that way. So they work perfectly and just fit the kit. You'll also notice all of the drums, all the toms are only six lugs. Okay, that's cool, that's old school style. A lot of drums these days, especially bigger drums, come with 10 lugs or eight lugs. You have six lug drums all the way around, just lets the shell breathe, especially these brass shells. They breathe, it stays open. There's not a lot of tension that comes from a lot of lugs on the drum.
And there you have it, everybody, the a and Drum Company's Royal Four-Piece Shell Pack. Solid brass shells, sound great, look amazing, and just so much fun to play. If you want any more information about these a and products or any other a and product, just talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.